Laura here, author, speaker and trainer. I'm also known as the Intentional Communicator. Poor communication is the largest hidden cost to business, with it taking up to 30% of profit. Now who wants to see that money go down the drain? Did you know that most people have no idea how they impact others, particularly in a crisis or in a high pressure moment? Intentional communication is about considering the impact, not just spitting out words, but thinking about what impact you want to have on the person or the situation. Do you want to encourage, teach, give feedback, chastise, hurt, make someone laugh? What is your intention? This question is particularly important when there's either some tension or confusion in a relationship, or when the conversation is rather important. The goal of any communication is to impart knowledge and to change something, other else, why bother? I wonder though, how often do you stop and think what impact am I having here? Great communication doesn't come naturally. There's so much more to consider. Things like emotion, tone, body language, the context of the situation, the history between the people, your intention, and different communication styles. All of these things need to be considered to ensure that you get the outcome that you're intending. Have you ever said something and the response you got was completely out of context with what you said? This used to happen so much more to me before I decided to become intentional. I used to walk into the room with my hands on my hips and get ready to start the issues of the day. And I thought I came across as friendly and proactive, but my team thought I was scary and confrontational. How did I find out? I overheard their true thoughts in the ladies' bathroom. Yes, a humbling session of bathroom gossip saved me, but more on that another day. So here I was intending to be motivational and helpful, but my team were impacted by a manager who they felt was confrontational and unapproachable. Two very different scenarios, wouldn't you agree? How did I get around this? Well firstly, I wholeheartedly apologised for my impact. Then I followed it up with some action. I began to learn about different communication styles because I was frustrated that I wasn't being understood. I was so confused as to how my impact could be so different from my intent. I thought there has to be a better way. Now impact is the first step in the process of intentional communication. Next time we'll discuss the second stage in detail, the effect of the impact or the emotional wound. Until next time, care, connect, and be a conscious communicator. Let's improve the world we live in, one intentional conversation 